Topics in this edition of Indigo Now include an update to Indigo service schedules, PPE donations to the Indianapolis Public Transportation Foundation, and an important Purple Line project update. Beginning Monday, June 1st, Indigo returns to regular weekday schedules, Monday through Fridays. Weekend service will continue as usual. Fair collection and front door boarding were reinstated on Monday, May 4th. The Carson Transit Center lobby and restrooms remain closed to the public currently, but the customer service retail desk is open during regularly scheduled hours with limited capacity for riders who need to purchase fare. As we navigate through this pandemic, we will continue to monitor ridership and evaluate routes and schedules. We are also committed to continuing the increased cleaning and sanitation processes that we've implemented. Riders are asked to continue to leave space between themselves and other riders whenever possible and to wear a face covering on board if they are able. Learn more about our response to the coronavirus at indigo.net backslash health. We've seen a lot of cool and creative masks out there, and now we want to see yours. Show us how you're keeping yourself and your neighbors safe. The next time you ride the bus, tag at Indigo Bus with your fun photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using the hashtag show us your mask. Indigo will receive boxes of hand sanitizer and 1,000 masks as a donation through a partnership between former Indianapolis Colts, Hall of Famer Edron James, and Super Bowl champion Reggie Wayne, former NFL player Bryant McKinney, and Procale Mobility CEO Kelly Gonzalez Jr. McKinney and Gonzalez are leading multiple campaigns with NFL players in partnership with the Professional Football Players Mothers Association, the National Football League Players Association, and Procale Mobility to organize donations to over 20 nonprofits across the United States, including nursing homes, frontline essential workers, low-income support organizations, hospitals, and food banks. To date, over $6.9 million has been raised nationwide for COVID-19 relief by way of the NFL, its affiliates, current past players, business partners, and individuals. At the May Indigo Board of Directors meeting, the board approved several measures that will help ensure Indigo is positioned to sustain growth and increase service for years to come. Among those included is the procurement of 27 hybrid buses. With the electric and hybrid buses and 4,300 solar panels on the roof of its headquarters, Indigo continues to be committed to operating a clean fleet and reducing our emissions as we work to improve service across the country. The addition of hybrid buses will reduce emissions by 75% per bus, increase the range on the buses by more than double the miles, and save the organization millions throughout the increased life of the bus. Some benefits to hybrid buses include approximately 480 miles range and $20 million estimated cost savings from an entirely electric fleet. Also, diversifying our fleet allows for more flexibility in infrastructure improvements, hiring and training, and facility needs. Indigo still plans to use all electric buses on our current and future bus rapid transit lines. The Purple Line moves forward. In May, the Indianapolis City County Council and the City of Lawrence approved the ordinance language that will enable Indigo to move forward with the next steps for the Purple Line Rapid Transit Project and support infrastructure repairs to the 38th Street Corridor. This follows the vote on April 16th by the Public Works Committee of the City County Council to support the proposed ordinance changes. With the full approval of the City County Council received, Indigo finalized the funding process for the Purple Line and related infrastructure projects with the FTA Federal Transit Authority and received confirmation of full federal funding announced on May 29th. Through the Purple Line project, Indigo, the City of Indianapolis, and federal partners will transform East 38th Street as more than half of the $155 million project budget is dedicated to infrastructure improvements along the 15.2 mile long route. These infrastructure improvements include new pavement, adding or repairing 9.5 miles of sidewalk, installing a new three mile long multi-use path for pedestrians and bicyclists along the north side of 38th Street, connecting to the Fall Creek Greenway, and new traffic signals and 355 ADA compliant curb ramps. Additionally, the Purple Line has presented an opportunity to coordinate with the City of Indianapolis Department of Public Works and local utility providers and deliver a drainage solution superior to what could have been achieved by any one entity on its own. 
The ordinance changes approved by the committee also allow for new bus only lanes and required turn restrictions for safety. Learn more about the project at indigo.net backslash purple dash line. Thanks for watching this short presentation and sharing with your network. We encourage you to stay engaged, stay healthy, and be safe. We are still in this together.